all su level 3 supers do a crazy amount of damage. They're good for getting the early lead or the closeout. And that parry animation, oh my god, that was the sickest thing. We are back with another Street Fighter 6 developer match. It seems like they're doing this every week now, Tuesdays at 4 p.m. PST, releasing one singular game of Street Fighter 6 with two characters that we haven't seen much footage of. Two weeks ago, it was Zangief vs. Marissa. Last week, it was Lily vs. E. Honda. And today, we got Kami vs. Manon. Kami is a classic character. You know, she's got the dive kick. She's got the spiral arrows. You know, the normal stuff that you would expect from her. And Manon is a new character. I would say she's... Very similar to Zangief actually, but with some more stylish combos, a little bit more graceful and with a unique leveling system. I think it's called a metal system, which powers up her command grabs over time. So today we're going to break down the match, go over everything that we see from Kami from and on and how I think they're going to fit in with the rest of the characters once the game comes out. Before we watch the match, just a quick reminder to hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already, it helps the channel out a lot and let's get into it. So I already took a look at this match before making this video. I think the key takeaways um, that you're going to see from Kami are basically her neutral. You don't really see her do the charge special moves that much as the charge hooligan that they showed off in the trailer, but there still are a lot of cool things that they show off, obviously her normals and also her EX back fist. They show off her normals, all of her air options and her EX back fist. And what I think you're gonna want to pay most attention to for Manon is this metal level system that she has she starts at level one she can go up to level five i believe and each one powers up her command grabs to do more damage and it actually carries over rounds which is very unique for a character to have in street fighter all right so let's start the match she does have those long grappler type buttons cammy's getting in there of course she is always an offensive character once she gets in her pressure strings getting in there. She has like Street Fighter 4 esque normals with her stand heavy kick um, and crouch heavy punch. And actually, you saw that anti air from Manon actually reaches pretty far and goes into a combo. She has a dive kick. I believe it leaves her standing. Seemed like that was minus. So Manon got a command grab. She's now at level three. So already she's powered up to level three. And that's going to carry over to the next round as well. Three hit jab into the special EX drill once again Manon's in the corner drive impacts out Kami's almost burned out she's got two bars of super drive rush in she backdash the backdash from Kami actually seems very short but it was enough to get away from that command grab from Manon and now round two is starting and you see Manon does indeed still have her level three metal um level ex anti-air right there and look at this special move she actually goes up to level four from that and you're gonna see i think this round you're gonna see the level four command grab and it does a, a crazy amount of damage brings her in she has i think a target combo that just pulls you in and leaves you standing for the command grab mix up really interesting looking buttons from manon that crouch light kick it looks kind of like elena's from street fighter uh four and look at that command grab damage oh my goodness and we still haven't seen the level five command grab that one's gonna do a crazy amount of damage and i think is that an overhead i didn't notice that the first time we went around they both have uh level threes on deck so we're gonna see them this round and you saw a couple times from cami uh her hooligan into kick is actually like her v trigger uh overhead move from street fighter 5 dang this this super is actually sick she forced cami to pose with her all level three supers do a crazy amount of damage. They're good for getting the early lead or the closeout. And that parry animation, oh my God, that was the sickest thing. And actually right there, you might not have noticed it, but her target combo actually allows her to jump instead of having to cancel into hooligan. And that's an EX back fist right there. You might've missed that too. It happens so fast. The EX back fist goes into the crouch medium punch into the super. It's not going to quite kill, but Kami only needs one more hit. She goes for the forward throw and that is the KO. All right, so I'm going to slow things down so we can really analyze and I'll talk about my thoughts 
on the characters. So first, I think Cammy is actually the same kind of neutral based character that she has been in the past. Um, she does have extra air options, which might make you think that it's a little bit more random the way she can get in with with the charge hooligans and like the hooligan into the kick. That seems like an overhead uh, that she can combo from. You saw her get the target combo from that kick move. But I think that's more like if you're not ready for her hooligan then it can catch you off guard maybe for some subs as well when you're on the ground um, but i think most characters in this game actually have like an anti-air option that would deal with that uh, most if not all have like some kind of dp move even manan has has this uh anti-air dp type move zangi's gonna have his lariat i actually can't think of a character that wouldn't have a special move to deal with this um in street fighter 5 there were characters that didn't have a special move dp and they had to rely on like a crouch fierce uh, in order to anti-air but even like chun li who always anti-aired with a normal in street fighter 5 she has her tensho kicks i think they want it to be a move that is able to be dealt with if you have the reactions um but um if not the cami player um can go for for a mix-up that leads to quite a lot and the charge version uh takes a little bit longer but um leads to a little bit more reward unfortunately we didn't really get to see it in this match hopefully we do later on um, but there's going to be a lot of routes that allow manan to get these level ups and it's going to be very interesting for offense and defense um, because basically as the rounds go on and as you get more levels the risk versus reward changes each time on the command grab um, because at the start of the game there's incredible reward because each level up it uh, it basically stacks because you get it for the whole rest of the game. If you're in the last round, you're like less incentivized to go for command grabs. Um, there's less reward on them because it's not like the power up lasts for two more rounds. Um, but also the amount of damage increases each time. So the more levels you have, the more you want to do that command grab because that uh that amount of damage is just going to be crazy once you get to the level five we only see the level four command grab here but i think the level five command grab is probably going to do more damage than zangief's command grab because that seemed pretty comparable um right there uh with the level four command grab she gets a stand fierce into super almost all of the level three supers just look incredibly sick in this game um, I mean, just really creative. She's making Cami pose with her E Honda this last week, uh, too. Just look crazy. He made a sumo ring with his opponent, a ring of fire, and then pushed them out of it. Um, right here, the parry animation, it just shows such attention to detail. And then right here, I'm going to pause it. So after her overhead move, she gets this target combo. And in Street Fighter V, she has to cancel it to Hooligan. But you'll see she actually cancels it into a jump, into I think a medium punch, into dive kick. Which is similar to DiCapre in Street Fighter V, I think. Or Street Fighter 4. DiCapre, I think, did the target combo into a throw. And then you went for like the light hand for for the meaty cami couldn't do that in the past and that's another thing we'll we'll pause right here even in slow motion like it just looks so fast the ex hooligan you couldn't even see the ex because she burned out actually um so it's kind of hard to tell but that ex uh back fist seems like it's going to be such a good way to close out rounds especially if you have that super because if your reactions are off just a little bit then you're going to get clipped on the other side of course you're going to be able to parry it you probably can actually jab it too if you're completely ready um but it's going to be a great way to catch your opponents off guard that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you think of Manon's leveling system, what you think of Kami's new tools. Uh, leave a like down below, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, hit that red subscribe button down below. Helps the channel out a lot and I will see you in the next one.